And first and six, an accused Colombian drug lord back on U.S. soil and facing a judge today right here in South Florida. Henry de Jesus Lopez Londoño was once considered the most dangerous and wanted drug trafficker in the world. Tonight, he sits in a federal prison cell after his first appearance in a U.S. courtroom. CBS 4's Ted Scouten was there for today's hearing. He joins us live from downtown Miami. Ted. Hi, Ruta Bay and Rick. Well, you know, he may have uh, quite the reputation, however, today in court. He was very polite to that federal judge. Right now, he's being held with no bond. He plans to fight that, and he plans on fighting the charges. After being whisked from an Argentinian jail, accused drug trafficker Henry Lopez Londoño is brought to the United States. After less than 24 hours here, he's made his first court appearance. This arrest was significant. I mean, Mi Sangre or Londoño is one of the most uh, sought out and most, uh, you know, prolific drug dealers in Colombia that was importing cocaine to our country. South Florida's U.S. Attorney Wifredo Ferrer says Lopez's arrest and extradition to the U.S. is part of a larger plan to indict what he called big Colombian drug dealers. So I think that when we send a message to the world that no matter where you're from and no matter where you go to hide, we will find you and we will arrest you and you will have to serve and face justice in the United States. Lopez was indicted on a charge of conspiring to traffic five kilos of cocaine to the U.S. He's been in jail in Argentina since 2012. His attorney said he was trying to get asylum there. It's the first instance that I'm aware of where Argentina has allowed extradition in a matter where there have been two asylum requests. At the moment, Lopez is being held in federal lockup with no bond. His attorney plans to argue that on November 29th, when Lopez is back in court for a detention hearing and when he'll be formally charged. After the bond hearing, there will be an arraignment, and he will enter a plea very proudly uh, of not guilty to all counts in the indictment. The U.S. Attorney's Office says Lopez's arrest is just the beginning of more to come. So this investigation uh, continues, and there are other defendants that we have indicted um, that are we're also looking and seeking their extradition so that they can face justice in the United States. All right, so that next hearing is going to be in a week and a half. That's when he'll also have the chance to enter that not guilty plea. Live in downtown Miami, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you.